what is going on YouTube it's your boy Dollar Mike back at again with another video you guys don't know what I do here on Dollar Mike I pretty much make personal finance videos saving money investing money budgeting credit credit cards all that kind of good stuff but every now and then I drop a video on something that I you know I like to review something that I'm using a lot in this case I have another chair for you guys you guys haven't been watching my videos I've been sitting in this chair for about five months this is the Herman Miller sale gaming edition chair so I, so I pretty much just want to do a quick review on this particular chair I have one other chair on my channel before I don't sit in that chair anymore as you can probably tell and I did a review on that and it did pretty well so if you guys are interested in this video somebody will probably be interested in looking at this chair so here you guys go. Here's a review on the Herman Miller Sale Gaming Edition chair. Either way, let's get right into the video. Let's go. So, of course, this is going to be a little bit more free form of a video. I'm pretty much going to go over three different aspects of how I feel about the chair. We're going to talk about comfort. We're going to talk about design and we're going to talk about functionality. That's how I'm really going to structure this review. I don't really normally review a lot of chairs on the channel. That's not something I always do, but I do sit in a lot of chairs and I use them for a, a lot of time, you know, video recording, video editing using it for office work, gaming, all that kind of stuff. So I use a chair for a lot of reasons and I had to sit in it for long periods of time. So it makes sense to review something like this. But before we even get into those key factors, I just wanna mention a couple of things because automatically this might turn the chair off of you completely. Number one, I've had this chair for about five months now. I've had it since August, I believe of 2021 and we're now in January of 2022. So about five months. Number two, this chair is not cheap. It's actually very expensive. This is the most expensive chair I've ever spent money on. And number three, I got this chair on sale. So it's actually even more than what I spent on it now because it's not on sale anymore. So let's start with the price. The price when I originally bought this chair was $700. Yes, $700 for a chair. But as I mentioned before, I use this chair for a lot. I use it for recording, use it for gaming, I use it for editing. I use it for general use because I do a lot of general use stuff. I might get into coding going into the future. So I sit down a lot and it's pretty important to make sure you have good posture, you know, make sure you're actually comfortable if you're going to sit down for hours on end doing stuff like this. Now, if you're not the person to do stuff like this, then obviously you shouldn't spend $700 on a chair, but I spent $700 business expense for the YouTube channel for everything pretty much. And that's just how it is. Either way, the regular price of the chair is not $700. It's about 800 once you add taxes and all that kind of good stuff. So actually the chair is actually about $775, but like, like, like I said, once you add taxes on all that, you're going to be looking around $800 to buy this chair. Now, do I regret spending that much money for a chair? Honestly, no, I've had no issue with this chair. This is probably my favorite chair I've ever sat in that I've ever bought or paid for anything like that. And I would hope that's the case because I spent so much money on it. But honestly, I think an honest value for this chair would be probably around what I paid, maybe a little bit under that, maybe around $550, $600. I think that's a great price to get it to share for. It was on sale. I think it was some holiday. I don't know what holiday it was, but I bought it around the holiday. Got it for that price. And um, yeah, if I could have got it for cheaper, or if you can get it for cheaper, if you see it on Herman Miller's website or ad for it or something like that, definitely see if you can get it on sale. Regular price is cool, but obviously if you can get it on sale, then why not? Now let's go into the three factors that I mentioned before, comfort, functionality, and design. Let's start with comfort. Comfort is number one. Off rip, you guys already know. Most expensive chair I ever bought, most comfortable, comfortable chair I've ever sat in, and I honestly have zero complaints about the comfort. I've been sitting in it for five months. The cushion has not given in or anything like that, like my old chair did about six months, six, seven months in. Make sure you watch that video, it'll be linked right up there. Um, but yeah, the comfort of the chair has been great. Uh, it's extremely comfortable. It's like airy in the back, it's holes in the back. Of course, I have B-roll to show you guys all this kind of stuff, but I have no issue with the comfort at all and i highly recommend it just based on comfort alone moving on over to my second factor i do want to mention design and if you guys have been watching my channel if you've seen my videos before you guys know i'm a sucker for design i honestly personally will not buy something if it has poor design it could be the best product ever but if it looks ugly to me then i won't spend the money on it and simply put i think this chair looks amazing somebody might disagree completely they might think it looks hideous or something like that i think it looks super modern i love the color of course dollar my green it's not dollar my green but it is green so i was like oh, i gotta get the green one and it comes in like i think five different colors which is pretty nice as well either way design for me is perfect it's uh it seems very one of a kind i've never seen this chair out in public or at any office building of course you probably don't expect to see that that often anyway but it looks really good i think it looks really good it feels really good so off rip the comfort and design are both pluses for me and i have no issue with either one of them and design was definitely a key 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 factor in me buying this chair the last factor i want to mention today is functionality and hopefully this chair has a lot of functionality for the amount of money you spend on it and it actually does this has the most functionality of any chair i've ever spent money on and like I said before, I bought I bought a decent amount of chairs. If you guys have seen my previous chair video, 
Um, I bought about four or five chairs before I bought that chair in the previous video when I talked about another chair. But this chair, definitely the most functionality of any chair I've ever had. Of course, if you spend that much money on a chair, it definitely should have a lot of functionality with it. And I can honestly say this one does. You can adjust the, you know, the armrest like you normally would with any other chair. They actually go inward, they go outward, they go forward, they go backward. The seat goes forward and backward. The you can lock in the actual i don't i can't do it right here but i'll do it in the b-roll you can lock in the actual back so you know you can lock yourself out when it comes to the back so you don't have to go all the way back if you don't want to go all the way back it's kind of hard to explain the height adjustment height adjustment is perfect for me i'm about 5'10, 5'11, 5'10, 5'11, not six foot but if you are someone that's tall they do actually offer a high um high height option i think it's extra hundred dollars don't quote me on that i'll put something on screen but they do offer a higher height option so if you are above six foot definitely i would say get that option so you are comfortable sitting in this chair but they do offer that so it's nice a lot of chairs don't offer anything like that at all so that's pretty cool and a lot of people actually did not buy my previous chair because they were so tall and i told them not to buy it if they were six foot or taller because they would not be comfortable and that was it's facts it's facts so i'm happy i can help people out in that instance so yeah Those three are all solid to me. I do want to get into, get into some pros and cons because there are a couple of cons, like literally just like two. And the pros, tons of pros with this chair, as you would think when you spend that much money. But it's not always the case. Either way, let's talk about the pros first. As I already mentioned, the high height option is great. I don't personally need it, but I think it's great that they offer it. Simply put, if you're taller, definitely get that high height option and you'll be all good to go if you plan on getting a chair like this and you'll be comfortable in it. Another pro is the seat for a couple of reasons. The seat is like the perfect perfect type of firmness where it's not too hard it's not too soft and it pushes back you know once you get up and everything it doesn't stay like that once you get up um and i've had no issue with it my other seat and like i don't weigh a lot I only weigh like i weigh like 130 130 pounds so i don't weigh a lot and the fact that my other seat my, on my previous chair gave it didn't give in but like after sitting there for like six seven months or it was like six yeah like about six seven months you could tell it's more of an indentation in the seat you couldn't really see it but you could know when you sat down so this is nice. It's been about five months now. Nothing. This feels brand new. Very comfortable to sit in long periods of time. I love it for that reason. So solid stuff there with the seat. And on top of that, I had a dog and with my dog and everything, I got a lot of dog hair on the previous chair. There's no dog hair at all on this chair. You can simply wipe it off just by like, just, you know, literally with your hands, wipe it off and it's good to go. So if you have a dog or cat and they shed a lot, then you don't have to worry about it if you get this chair, cool stuff. The mesh on the back also feels really good. It's nice and stretchy. So you can kind of like bend, do whatever you want to do in the chair, good stuff there. And on top of that, it's open design. So, you know, it's holes right through it. So air can, you know, get out, you know, air can get out and stuff like that where previous chairs or other chairs, you might not have a back where airs can get out. Pretty much your back will get hot. And that was a case that I have. My back would definitely get hot, especially when I was in college. I used to sit here and do a lot of online, you know, online classes and stuff like that. And I had a previous chair back, you know, it was a solid back. Cool. It was a cool chair, but you know, it, my back just got hot after sitting there for four hours, typing up uh, discussions and stuff like that. It, it gets annoying. You know, the last pro I want to mention is the armrest, the armrests. I honestly just think they're great. They're nice and solid. They're not uncomfortable. You can dig your elbows into it and it's no issue there. My previous chair, it would get annoying and my elbows would start to hurt after a while, but this perfectly fine. You can definitely do the whole crisscross applesauce thing if that's what you want to do and sit in the chair that way. It's personally up to you. And on top of that, with the armrest, like you get more, uh, it's just you get more adjustability. My other chair, I think it just went up and down and I think left and right, maybe, but this one does like up, down, left, right, forward, backwards, side, side. It's crazy the amount of adjustability with these armrests. I've never seen a chair that had this much adjustability with an armrest and I didn't know I needed it until I actually got it. So now going forward, I feel like I can't go and get a chair that doesn't have that much adjustability with the armrest because I do actually adjust it often depending on what I'm doing. Like if I'm just chilling, gaming, editing, I change the adjustment options often. So yeah, it's really great to have that option. Either way, let's get into two cons and it's not that much really. Like I said before, I don't really have too much issues with this chair. I do love the chair a lot and I plan on keeping it for a long time. But the first con is the price. 
obviously the price is just so expensive it's not a chair for everybody if you really don't see an investment in buying a chair like this then i would just recommend you just don't buy it just because it's so expensive but if like i said if you ever catch it on sale around the 550 600 range so i don't think it would ever go any lower than that if you ever catch it on sale around that price definitely definitely pick it up i think it's an amazing price point for that type of money and if there are any equivalents out there i'll try to find them and hopefully review them for you on the channel and the other pro the other pro for me personally if you guys can check the back you can see there's actually no headrest so um i mean i said other pro other con no headrest so there's no headrest on the chair so like you lean back and like you know it's not too big of a deal like i never really use my headrest like that but it is nice something you know it's just something nice to have so yeah if it had a headrest i'll be pretty happy with it it doesn't so it is what it is but yeah either way not too bad not uncomfortable at all like that and i still gonna lean back in the chair and be very comfortable in the chair and whatnot so not a big deal but if it had a headrest i would like it i did actually have one more pro the last pro for this chair is that it actually already comes built so you don't even have to build the chair you literally get the box you slide the chair out of the box and that's it i'll if i still had the video i think i recorded it so the video i'll put it on screen but fantastic you know like that's something that it, it it's not a big deal like it says like what 30 minutes to an hour maybe building the chair it's not a big deal and you know it's fun you know i like building stuff personally but um if you know you build something and you don't build it right then the chair might not fit or sit right the way it's supposed to sit so it's nice that it's already pre-built you know you literally just drag it out the box it's a very simple process and you i just drag it out the box roll rolled it out the box and brought it right upstairs and here we are so yeah um that's pretty much it that is the herman miller sale gaming edition chair they do have a herman miller sale regular edition it's a little bit different when it comes to the options and stuff like that but i got the gaming edition because i'm a gamer you know like i guess I, i'm not i mean i play games i am a gamer but i was like the gaming edition it's just funny because they call it the gaming edition because you know it's, it's still a chair at the end of the day but for us yeah it's pretty cool um i like it no issues there let me know if you guys want to see more chairs on the channel i've seen people comment on my previous chair video what i can't remember the name of that chair but i've seen people comment on my previous chair video asking me to review other chairs so a lot of them i think a lot of people really wanted me to review that staples hiking chair and i think that's like 150 200 300 range so that's not terrible you know pricing wise so i definitely can pick that up and review review it for you guys compared to this chair compared to my previous chair and let you guys know if you're interested in stuff like that so definitely let me know down in the comment section below if you want me to review other chairs because like i said i gotta sit in these things for a long time like to do a lot of work so yeah i've been doing youtube for like two years now three three years now three years now so yeah i gotta do that i gotta do a lot of stuff so yeah it's cool cool that you know this chair actually works out so far i haven't had any issues at all which is crazy to say after five months considering my other chair was it was after five six months i was like all right bro i don't i don't want this anymore so yeah cool stuff to see um i'm not mad at it if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button i don't normally make chair reviews but like i said if you guys want to see it definitely just let me know down in the comment section below and other reviews as well i try to review products that i really just care about for myself it's not really for the channel as much it's really just for myself but you know i sit in this every day so it makes a lot of sense either way though thank you guys for watching as always take care of yourselves stay safe stay hydrated i'm out dollar mike peace thank you for watching